Welcome to Creature Fridays, where I give you a quick introduction to one of the animal species found in the UK. For the ninth video, we're going to take a look at Bombylius major, or the greater bee fly. Subscribe to Ferroforest to keep learning about UK nature. With a long pointing protrusion at the top of its head, the greater bee fly can look fairly intimidating. But the bee fly is harmless to people, and rather than being a stinger, this is actually a proboscis. The proboscis is a long tongue with a tube shape that's specifically used to reach deep into a flower to drink nectar. In fact, butterflies have the same feature, but unlike a butterfly, a bee fly can't curl away its tongue when it's finished feeding. Watch as the greater bee fly rests on primroses and violets, its favourite flowers to collect nectar from. At almost two centimetres long, it's our largest bee fly. Look closely at the top of its head and you can tell whether it's male or female, with the male's eyes touching at the top of the head, whereas the female's eyes are widely separated. Look as well at this bee fly's wings. While other species have plain translucent wings, this species has a dark stripe across the leading edge of its wings. This has earned it the commonly used nickname of the dark-edged bee fly. When in flight, the greater bee fly is easy to mistake for another group of species, the bumblebees. Its yellow and brown body and its buzzing sound as it flies past aren't just coincidences though. The greater bee fly actually evolved to be able to mimic the bumblebee. By mimicking bees, the greater bee fly is protected because other animals register all of the warning and danger signals and are scared off despite the bee fly itself being harmless. But this mimicry isn't perfect. Their long legs are skinnier than a bee's, not having the pollen baskets that feature on bee legs. They also have a single pair of wings compared to the two pairs that bees have. If you want to learn more about our different bee species, then make sure to check out my video about all of the types of bees that you can find in the UK. I've left a link to it in the video description below. The greater bee fly doesn't only mimic the bee for protection, but it also shares a close life cycle with them. Bee flies are nest parasites, meaning they rely on another species for their young to survive to adulthood. They will approach the nests of ground nesting solitary bees and wasps. They then lay their eggs and flick them towards the entrance hole of the nest. After the larvae hatch from these eggs, they will crawl further into the nest in search of the newly hatched bees or wasps. The larvae will then suck on their body fluids, killing them to survive. The greater bee fly is our most common bee fly species and can be spotted emerging through March, becoming most active during April and May. When you spot a bee fly, it's a sign that spring has arrived. Look out for them basking in sunny spots in gardens, parks, woodlands and hedgerows. If you're on the lookout for them, you're most likely to spot them in southern England, the Midlands and the Welsh Lowlands. The greater bee fly males court females with a hovering display, flying around 2.5 metres off the ground. They will dart at other males to warn them off and spin around in front of females to show off. If the weather changes and it gets too wet, then they will take shelter under leaves, while dips in temperature under 17 degrees Celsius will see them perching vertically, pointing upwards instead of flying around. If you enjoyed learning about this animal, then make sure to check out some of my other videos.